The main mission for the Department of Physics here at Waterloo is to be a leader in research and teaching, both regionally, nationally and internationally. In the department we have 35 faculty members, not including adjuncts. We have 190 graduate students, something like 120 PhD, 70 masters. Our uh, department is really research focused and so we work on teaching undergrads and grad students how to do research. The Department of Physics and Astronomy is unique for three real reasons. One is its situation in the region which is a high-tech hub. Secondly, we have undergone a major renewal of faculty. And finally, we've taken a major role in many initiatives to enhance physics. So for example, the Institute for Quantum Computing, the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics, and the Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology. My main research area is in statistical mechanics and uh, condensed matter physics with a focus on phase transitions in magnetic systems. Magnetism has had a long history in the field of uh, physics and condensed matter. Frustrated magnetism is a vehicle to understand how competition between different interactions in condensed matter systems uh, modify the behavior of the system. That work is important because we, we don't really understand the, the general principle that govern systems with uh, strongly competing interactions. So we're hoping that frustrated magnetism will allow us to flesh out that kind of theory. We're trying to create a system where magnetic material can uh, be dynamic and have information flowing even at low temperatures. Our work in low temperature physics is uh, primarily directed at looking at the properties of materials at extremely low temperatures. With low temperature measurements, we can identify uh, new phases of matter that are not found in nature. When you get very cold, uh, you get lower noise, and so you can make extremely sensitive measurements. A great example of the impact of our research would be in looking at superconductivity. So superconductivity has the potential to revolutionize our society, but so far we only know of materials that do so at uh, very low temperatures. One of our main goals is to develop a room temperature superconductor. At the Canadian Light Source, we've developed an instrument for resonant soft X-ray scattering. And this is now one of the premier facilities in the world for, for this technique. At the resonant X-ray scattering facility, we have tremendous capabilities. We have an in-vacuum four-circle diffractometer that lets us do X-ray diffraction where we're sensitive to the spatial distribution of uh, electrons. Us and, and other researchers uh, internationally have uh, focused recently on uh, uncovering charge density wave order in cuprate superconductors. When I moved to the University of Waterloo, one thing that really attracted me here was the strength in physics. My actual research is in chemistry, but in something called chemical physics, which is kind of at the frontier of chemistry and physics. For example, I've been interacting with Roger Melko, who works on entanglement in spin systems. My group uses simulations to model quantum materials and quantum devices and uh, even sort of fundamental quantum theories. Our work with large-scale numerical simulations uh, aims to use computers to simulate the quantum world. We use computer simulations to build quantum, say, crystals or quantum devices. And, you know, these are things that wouldn't exist in nature, but we can do a virtual experiment. What I am studying is solids. In solids, the particles are electrons, but they move not in free space, uh, but in the crystal lattice. So they move in the potential which is created by all the ionized atoms in the crystal lattice. For me, involving students is a part of preparing kind of the next generation of physicists. Students here drive the research. Uh, they're involved at all stages from uh, coming up with ideas to uh, performing experiments or making calculations to um, finally writing the papers and uh, getting the, uh, the research out into the public domain. I came to the University of Waterloo because I think that the University of Waterloo has really great collaboration opportunities between experimental physics, theoretical physics, and also numerical. I'm an experimentalist, but I really benefit from that culture of, of strong theory in the department. The department has grown enormously over the last uh, 10 years and we've benefited from huge opportunities like uh, the Parent Institute for Theoretical Physics, the Institute for Quantum Computing, so we are on a steep incline of improvement. We're working on some of the most important, I guess, foundational problems in quantum mechanics. And this will impact future technologies, future devices, and even future fundamental theories. 
I think as a vision, more than, perhaps more than a mission, I think we are aiming to become the foremost destination for graduate studies in the country and worldwide. Mm -hmm.